Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Lots of feedback in my videos. I'm trying to keep up with all the questions. It's been kind of hard to be honest. I think I've caught up, but I don't know. Uh, but you're asking a lot of good questions, some of which I know the answers to, some of which I'm having to go to Skyloom and say, can you help me on this? Um, regardless, thanks for the feedback. I've had a lot of fun creating these Luminar 3 with Libraries videos. I've done a few already. I'm sharing this one and all my future videos about Luminar will, of course, be about Luminar 3. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about today is, oh, by the way, we're like a day away from launch, right? So you're like this close to getting it, except for like Canada and Australia. I think they got it already. I think that was like a test to make sure the backend engine was working or something. But regardless, few of you have it. Most of you don't. It's real soon. You're going to get it. If you haven't got it yet, hit that link down below um, and check it out. Save 10 bucks using coupon code JimNix. And by the way, um, subscribe. Uh, I've got a lot of more videos, a lot of more. Anyway, it's early. Uh, a lot more videos coming, and uh, it's going to be fun. So what I want to talk about today is two kind of interesting and I think really cool functions in Luminar 3 with libraries, which, by the way, I'm probably just going to start calling Luminar 3 because it just has the library, right? So anyway, in Luminar 3, and that is the, the sync edit function and also the um, quick edit function. Two different things I want to talk about. Let's jump into it. Okay, so let's talk about sync edits first. Um, here I am in my Luminar library, right? So I've got basically three albums. You've seen this in future videos, and I won't bore you with that. But basically, the total is 152 photos, and they're in these three albums, right? So if I want to sync edits, the best example for that for me is to go to this album, which is a bunch of long exposures I took at a bridge near my house. I've got one here that I've edited, applied a bunch of filters to, got it looking kind of fun and colorful. And maybe I want to copy those edits over to other photos. You can do that with the sync edit, sync edit function. Super quick and easy. So you highlight a photo. Notice it's got kind of a gold frame around it. And then I'll, I'm going to max. So I think this would be a right click. I'm not sure on Windows, but it'll be something like that. I'll just hold Command and I'll highlight these other two photos. And notice that they now have a white frame. The one that you're copying the edits from has the gold. The two has the white frame. So just keep that in mind. And then all you do is you go to image and you say adjustments and you say sync adjustments and now those other two photos have the same adjustments. It's literally that easy. So if you have a bunch of photos that um, you know maybe shot at the same time in a similar manner like I did with these long exposures, you can just quickly go in and say, well, I like the, you know, the version I did here. I'm going to copy that across a few more photos. Boom, 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 right? Quick and easy. You can also go into the individual image and say copy adjustment and then go to the next image and say paste, but it's a lot quicker to do it this way. Um, so that's how it works. Super quick and easy. Um, and that is syncing adjustments. Now, one thing to note if you're coming from Lightroom, when you sync adjustments in Lightroom, a little menu comes up that allows you to choose which adjustments you want to sync. You don't have that option here. Uh, currently in Luminar 3, it's an all or nothing sort of deal. So you're taking the adjustments from photo one and you're applying all of those adjustments to photo two, three, four, five, however many you're syncing to. So all the adjustments go, you don't get to choose. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if that'll change in the future. Seems like it's something that they would probably change over time, but I don't know. I haven't asked them and I haven't heard, so remains to be seen. However, for me though, this is a big time saver because maybe I like that edit I did on this first photo and maybe I wanna apply it to others. Now, uh, you can also do it, uh, it, it does include things like crop. So I've got a crop on this photo, and maybe I want to do uh, the same edit here. So I can, once again, say image, adjustment, and sync adjustments, and it cropped that second photo as well as applied the same adjustment. So it does actually include that sort of thing as well. Just wanted to point that out. And that's a quickie on sync edits. Now let's talk about quick edits. Okay, I moved back up to my All Photos folder, and notice I don't have anything over here that's called Quick Edits. There's two things you can do, or two ways to get a photo into Luminar for Quick Edits. And by the way, a Quick Edit does not add it to the library. It's, it's just a Quick Edit. You're not sticking it in a folder. It's not a component of the library. It's literally just for editing. Um, it's a great way to cull images if you've got a bunch and you want to go through and say, yeah, I want these and I don't want those. You can just stick them in for a quick edit and then add them to a folder if you'd like to. So let me show you how that works. Um, you can do it two ways, right? If you have photos on your desktop or in a folder or whatever, you can just drag them onto the Luminar icon and it'll open them up in quick edit. You can also just say file, open images for quick edit. And I've got three. I've got this Dublin morning. 
I've got Scott Newcastle, and I've got this Venice photo. I'm gonna say open, and boom, there they are, right? So um, if I go up one, here they are, all three, and they are in quick edits, which you notice now shows up over here. My total number of photos did adjust. It was 152, it went up by three. It's now 155. However, my edited, uh, or my folders over here, that number did not change, right? So that's still the same 152 pictures, right? So they did not go into folders, they're just in quick edit. So now that I'm in quick edit, I can go through, I can apply ratings if I want. I can say, well, that's a five star, that one's gonna be pretty cool. And then you can come over here if you want, and you can rate by five stars, and that one shows up, right? Uh, you can go back to all photos, and if you wanna undo that rating, you just go to image, uh, set rating, and I go back to zero, and I've undone it. So now that they're in here, um, you can just pop over to edit, do whatever you want, right? Like you maybe you'll stick a, a look on there, which used to be known as a preset or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna walk through any of the editing. I just wanted to mention that uh, that's how you get photos in for a quick edit, right? I'm gonna go back up to that main folder. Let's say that I've done some things to these and I really like them and I wanna add them to my uh, library now, right? So let's say maybe I'll take them to test pics. Um, I could create a subfolder here. I'll just say control, new subfolder, and I'll say, good stuff i don't know it's early um <laughs> good stuff unoriginal name right um, i can take these three quick edits highlight them all drag them over to good stuff and boom now they are added to the test picks folder in a subfolder called good stuff there they are the total number of uh, images and test picks is now 29 instead of 26. here's something else to know let me go show you test picks if I could find it. Here's my test pics folder. There is now a good stuff subfolder that has those three images in it, right? So these are in your library. So keep in mind, if you delete them from that folder, you're also deleting, or from the test pics folder, you're also now deleting them from your library, right? So at this point, I've added them to my library. I've imported them for a quick edit. It's a good way to just view and sort of cull images. And obviously you can edit them there as well. And that's pretty much it, my friends, for syncing edits and quick edits. Hopefully a quick video, certainly quicker than some of my last ones, but that's it about uh, this one today. Syncing edits, quick and easy. Quick edits, quick and easy, and you can stick them in folders as well if you'd like to. But I just wanted to point out those two features slash functions of Luminar 3 with Library. That's it, my friends. I hope you're having fun, and I can't wait for you to get your hands on this product. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time. More videos coming. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all those things if you haven't. Share with your friends. And that's it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, my friends. Take care. See you soon and adios.